Hey guys, good morning and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I'm Scott Ramp, your one and only host for your uh, bi-weekly show, uh, Wednesdays and Fridays at 8 a.m. until 9 a.m. or usually a little shorter. I usually go until about uh, 8.40, 8.45. But regardless of that, it's online. Uh, you can uh, find out more information by going onto my website, wakeupmissoula.wixsite.com slash wakeupmissoula. <sighs> Uh, slash Wake Up Missoula, so that you can find out more information about me by going on to my website, Wake Up Missoula. You can find out past interviews and past videos, some cool little videos as well as going on to MCAT.org to uh, sign up for our summer camps. Summer camps are almost here. We got some zombies, a zombie camp, which is going to be great. And we also have that bike raffle that's happening, so you can click here to find out more information and be sure to subscribe to MCAT and it's all its glory. Um, Missoula's Community Media Resource, that's our new slogan. We just updated our, our brand and we're going to have a grand brand launch on May 5th during our party, so you guys are welcome to join us. But I'm going to talk a little bit about what I'm going to be talking about today. Uh, so we got weather, I got news, I got some new programming this week for you guys so you can watch anytime at MCAT.org, but it's also going to be airing on MCAT Channel 189 so you can watch it tonight and, and tomorrow, so any of those times. Um, I have a stop animation uh, video, so it's kind of like everything's all going to be built into the stop animation video of the week. So, uh, and also got some events, art clips, and some more events for your, for you today as well. Um, I did a little bit of, uh, city council, um, some city council because it was about a, a 16 minute and 53 second meeting on Monday night, April 10th. It is April 12th today, 2017. So let's get things started with a little bit of weather. So, so here's some, um, here is the weather. It is currently 43 degrees outside. Um, your high is going to be 58 degrees. Your low is going to be 40 degrees. Um, you have the uh, high uh, on Thursday being 55. Um, it's going to get a little bit cooler later on this week with 70% uh, 70 70, 70 chances of showers. Um, pretty much kind of stay green out throughout, throughout the week. So you can expect some snow and some rain and some precipitation. It was raining while I was walking here. I'm not sure if it's still raining. So uh, you... Um, pretty much just uh, stick your head out the window. Um, if you want more information, you go to nationalweatherservice.gov. And if you want more information about me, you can go to wakeupmissoula.wixsite.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice to be made you write out twice. And I'm too cheap to buy the licensing for wakeupmissoula.com. So uh, if you're watching this, don't steal my license <laughs> to my website. But also go to mcat.org where you can win a free bike raffle. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I sh pretty much showed you my uh, uh, slogan so by the, um, at the beginning of the show. So just kind of discredit that and just kind of see where you can find more, more information by going on to MCAT.org. Let's talk about some new stuff. So if you haven't already known, uh, noticed that the Mercantile, the Missoula's own Mercantile, is being torn down, um, MCAT is going to be uh, filming a time lapse of the, uh, dis of the demolition of the Merc. Um, the Merc uh, facade is finally down, and the city moves to replace the 100-plus-year-old building with a Hotel Marriott. The progress will take about two years before the project is complete. Um, here is a picture that, uh, let's see, uh, let's start off with the picture um, from the Missoulian, because it kind of shows the demolition, and I actually saw the guy who was taking the picture. Um, so here is kind of like the uh, them tearing down a section of the old mercantile building right there. Here's another one from the Missoulian, just a nice close-up of some of the uh, cat tractors that are uh, helped demolishing the building. And here's a picture that I took, and as you can see the, at the lower left-hand corner is the GoPro that will be seeing the time-lapse of the old mercantile building as it's being demolished. Um, so it'll be so one of those things that will be historically captured through uh, Missoula Community Access Television for you guys to watch later on. So we'll all kind of premiere it on my morning show as well. And we'll also put it on our Facebook page and our Twitter uh, and also YouTube as well. So we'll have it all on media platform so you guys can pretty much find it anywhere you find Missoula Community Access Television. Um, also, what's happening in the news, if you haven't, um, um, seen um, some of the news things in the Billings Gazette. They were talking about the key fights bef between uh, Gianforte and Rob Quist. Um, it's Greg Gianforte. He's a Republican. He's running for the uh, the seat that was left by Ryan Zinke when he took the job as Secretary of the Interior. Um, this upcoming congressional elections are uh, clean water. 
Th these are the uh, topics, the issues are about clean water, essential air services, and health care. On, on water projects, um, this is what Chris said, no community can survive without access to clean water, and I will make sure that the rural water projects get us support they need that so rural Montana can thrive. Um, Gianforte says, we shouldn't, be, uh, we shouldn't be making cuts to our, to our rural water projects, but we also have to look at the ex um, excessive regulation from the EPA that makes water projects more expensive for rural communities. And in, in terms of air services, um, Gianforte put it as, without this program, rural Montana would lose accessibility to critical health care services and see diminished opportunities for jobs and economic growth. With the 20 trillion dollars in debt, it's clear that we need to get our spending in order, but rural America should not be uh, the sacrificial lamb. Uh, Quiz said, I will be the voice of rural Montanans and fight to keep these critical uh, fights flying. Um, this is why we need some of the Congress, someone in Congress who will be an independent check and balance to leaders who um, don't understand rural America, and I'm going to be that check for Montanans. And so this is what Gianforte had to uh, talk about with health care. Quiz is very... Uh, um, he, he was very for health care. He's very for socialized medicine. But um, this is what Gianforte said in terms of health care. Um, so he says, I've been very clear about this. I won't rip the carpet out for Montanans who, who don't have access to health care through Medicaid pro programs. Now, I do not have concerns about the long-term fiscal impacts this program has on our budget, but I'm committed to finding solutions to address rising health care costs and provide better and more affordable health care to all Montanans. And Quist said, Quist, um, Rob Quist um, said, thousands of Montanans rely on community health centers and critical access hospitals for primary care. We need to help these facilities, keep these facilities open and fully staffed so that rural Montanans can access the same quality health care as the rest of the country. Uh, the mail-in ballots will be sent out in the mail and elections will end on May 25th. Uh, so the election day is on May 25th. If um, for, for those, uh, but of course, Steve, Governor Steve Bullock has been moving forward to make the election a mail-in ballot-only election so it can save Montanans a lot of money since uh, there was a huge story not made. Um, Rachel Maddow made a story about Montana about how we had to recall a lot of our ballots back in the day because, um, let's see, um, Libertarian um, Mike Fellows, who is also a MCAT alum, uh, died in a tragic car accident. And they had to recall all the ballots and basically rename the new li uh, libertarian on the ballot for the this past election, which cost uh, which costed uh, the state of Montana over a million dollars. So that's one of the things. So it, it's th there's a lot going on in there. Um, and if you want more information, you go to uh, MissoulaVotes.com. This is for just Missoulians. Um, you, you can go to your uh, county courthouse, any, any of the states or any of the areas, to find out more about this and that. Um, I also just kind of um, quickly uh, glance at a couple of news stories about how Kansas, uh, they, had another, uh, they had another congressional election where the Republicans uh, held their seat. Uh, but in terms of... Um, Montana, we won't find out uh, who's going to win until after May 25th. Um, in national news, the Trump administration has accused former President Barack Obama of weakness and irresolution for uh, drawing the red line in Syria, then failing to enforce it in the days before and after last week's um, cru cruise missile strike through Trump's own team has drawn some sometimes blurry and um, conflicting lines. The administration has sent mixed signals about when and why it was the military, uh, why it will use military force, the future of Syrian President Bashir Assad and the role it sees for Russia. Sean Spicer, White House spokesman, said, we're not going to become the world's policemen running around the world, Spicer said, but he also put down his own ma um, marker warning last week's missile strike might not be f the last. If you, oh, so he said, if you gas a baby, if you put a barrel bomb into innocent people, I think you can, um, you will see a response from this president that is unacceptable. So th um, these evolving and sometimes conflicting messages may leave both allies and adversaries uncertain about where the U.S. stands, but as far as Trump's concerned, it, that's okay. He, um, he spoke often during the campaign about the benefits of being unpredictable. And this is a story that I got from NPR.org. And you can find out more information by going to NPR News, and you can go uh, to the Missoulian to find out more information what's happening with the Mercantile. Um, you can also find out more information by going to the Billions Gazette, and which uh, highlights the el upcoming election between Quist and Gianforte. But that concludes everything you need, need, need to know about the news, um, of what's happening in and around Missoula, Montana, and, and, and in the nation, even the world. 
So right now I got some new programs for you guys, which follows the um, Missoula Dems um, monthly meeting. I got also the uh, International Development Series. I also got uh, Global Public Health. And I got Odyssey of the Stars, which features Lance Boyd. So when I come back, I'm just going to say a couple more things about the Odyssey of the Stars. Most of us are petitioned and social movement fatigued at the moment. And we're all trying to figure out what to do. And I go to, as I'm sure you do, lots of other groups in town, and it's, what are we going to do? What are we going to do other than protest? So CCL, for me, it has, as Scott said, the other Scott, um, a focus. We want to work on a piece of legislation that has some psychological and economic um, reality behind it. We know that we don't price carbon. We know from behavioral economics that if we put a price on something, it changes behavior. They'd never heard of what a diagnostic exam would be, and that was merely, I'm not going to grade you, I'm not going to score you, I'm going to find out if you know what the curriculum says you're supposed to know at this point in your education. And, and fascinating information. There, uh, we went to 39 classrooms up country. 806 students were tested. This is the team. We have, uh, this is me in the middle, as you might guess. And this is Bonnie. And she's the one that got me into it. And this is Jeff, and he's an Australian. He worked with the adults and the community people. She worked with teachers, and I tested kids. And they told me the librarians would never understand my English. Because there's a sort of leftover from the southern accent they came with. And then without having books, it's sort of degenerated. First of all, I just wanted to uh, give a little picture of myself. Uh, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> a farmer. Yes, I'm a farmer. And uh, professionally, I'm a preacher. God has called me to preach the gospel. And uh, during that process and calling of God, uh, these things, other things for the human uh, needs step in, like uh, medical, education, and so on and so forth. But let me say that uh, it has been a blessing to have uh, uh, doctors and nurses and uh, midwives that have uh, chances to come and help us uh, in the uh, field of medical in Tanzania, like uh, Mary and Tim and other uh, doctors and nurses who have come from Montana and other states to come and help us. <laughs> Jumping Jiminy, look at all these people out here, Lance, for you. Man, oh man. Yeah, sure you betcha. <laughs> well, Lance, this is a night of celebration for you in all that you've done. <laughs> and looking at all these people, they're here to not only honor you and the legacy that you've created, but to celebrate with you. And they're just a reflection of the thousands of students that have come across the University of Montana through your doors and you're looking at two generations of McKenzie's here. We've all had lances and instructions. We, we've really appreciated it. And And all the students that have had you know that your true passion, even though it is music, is for your old sports teams back in the old homeland, right? Minnesota. <laughs> And we are honored to present to you from the college and all the students here at the university your own Vikings jersey. So let's see it. And if you guys don't know who Lance Board is, uh, you're crazy. But uh, Lance Board is the uh, former uh, director of jazz bands and low brass and um, um, bass um, brass instruments at the University of Montana Music Department, and they honored him for the Odyssey of the Stars 2017. You can watch it anytime on MCAT.org, and it will be airing on MCAT um, this week, so check it out. It's going to be great. Um, I have uh, some city council for you guys. Um, let's see. 
We'll start off with a proclamation by uh, um, Mayor John Engen, and he's talking uh, about National Public Safety Telecommunications Week. So this is what he had to say. Yes. Whereas the safety and well-being of its citizens continues to be one of the foremost concerns of the city of Missoula, and whereas 911 is the first critical link in the chain uh, in delivering public safety services to the community, and the skill of those delivering these services is critical in answering those calls for help and immediately sending responders to provide assistance, and whereas not only uh, is the safety and well-being of Missoula citizens critical, but also the safety of those responding to emergencies is of great concern, and whereas the telecommunicators who work in 911 display a superior level of commitment, dedication, and professionalism in accomplishing their mission by receiving calls, dispatching emergency response agencies, and maintaining a communication link with the responders. And whereas those same telecommunicators working long hours under very difficult circumstances often go unrecognized. Now, therefore, I, John Ingen, Mayor of the City of Missoula and the State of Montana, do hereby recognize the week of April 9 through 15, 2017, as National Public Safety. Safety Telecommunications Week. And I'd like to recognize and thank the telecommunicators at 911 for all of uh, their efforts and hours of hard work. And they do indeed work long, hard hours taking care of the citizens. And I am grateful for that. All right. Um, so it, um, once again, thank you to all the 911 ser services for uh, uh, being there. And sometimes, it, you know, like. Um, people don't know um, what you got until you need it. So um, thanks again for all your services. Um, moving on, uh, Ruth Sweeney, uh, she talked a little bit about Diversity Day and some of the projects that some um, some of the uh, folks that she knows that uh, she wants to kind of highlight. So I'm going to let her talk a little bit more about that. So here is Ruth Sweeney. Thank you. I wanted to um, just mention that this Saturday is the 8th Annual Diversity Day. It'll be at the Missoula Senior Center starting at 6 p.m. And then also I wanted to um, acknowledge Marita Growing Thunder has been um, had a project through this school year to raise awareness for murder to missing indigenous women and for the past three days she's been walking across the Flathead Reservation and tomorrow will be the final day of her walk which will end in Arlie. Thank you. All right, so that was uh, Ruth Sweeney, and that was the uh, uh, city council meeting. It was really short and it was really sweet. Um, it was no less than um, 17, it was no more than 17 minutes. A uh, really short uh, city council meeting. You can find out more information by going to ci.missoula.mt.us. It's a great little website where you can find out all the city uh, stuff you guys need to find out about what's going on with the city of Missoula. Um, yeah, I mean, it's an, an upcoming meetings. Uh, there's a whole bunch of community meetings happening today in the city of Missoula, so you guys can totally check that out. Um, but I'll be right back right after this. NCAT is celebrating 27 years of recording and presenting the Missoula, Montana experience. Our struggles and our accomplishments that mark the path to the future. We'd like to invite you to celebrate that accomplishment with a party Friday, May the 5th at the Downtown Dance Collective, 121 West Main Street. Yeah, so you guys can totally come on down to our party on May 5th, which is the first Friday in Missoula. You can find out more information by going on to MCAT.org. You can also, and that's when we'll be raffling off this wonderful oh, senior core at Missoula. Sorry about that. Sir. That's here is our bike. We'll be raffling off this bike. Wow, I'm I'm way off today. I've been showing the wrong thing and just saying thing. That's what I get for not looking where I'm clicking on my little pad because I'm also running tech on my show. I do I like pretty much everything. You know, like I run cameras and the tech. So just bear with me. It's 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 Wednesday. Apparently, that's no excuse. Regardless of that, um, I do uh, just want to give a couple MCAT announcements. Today is the second Wednesday of the month, which means uh, MCAT has our orientation. If you want to come on down and be part of the MCAT community, MCAT hosts an orientation every second Wednesday of the month at 5.30 p.m. To uh, register, you can call us at 542-6228, otherwise known as 542-MCAT. But also, you can register online by going to MCAT.org and emailing us MCAT at MCAT.org. You can get into contact with us just as easily as um, seeing these uh, 
communications right here on our website, MCAT.org, or you can just come on down to 500 North Higgins. That we have a little nice little map right here to help guide you along your way to find where MCAT is and how to uh, apply. Um, one of the, th the nice things about um, being part of MCAT is that we help you with uh, multimedia type projects, whether it is a uh, visual project or a video product. Um, if you also want to do learn some audio stuff as well, we also add to that. So. Um, we emphasize on many different things or you can just come on down and just play with our virtual reality thing because we got some virtual reality uh we got a nice virtual reality toy i'm gonna wait I, I should bring it up no you don't even have it on our website anymore it looks like it was taken down so uh we have vive it's uh virtual reality thing it's pretty cool um and also every saturday is our saturday drop-in animation so if you don't know what that is every saturday uh until may 20th uh, we'll be hosting a Saturday drop-in for kids aged 9 to 13, and this is, happens from 1 to 5 p.m. It's kind of like a, uh, a glorified babysitting service, but it also allows kids to uh, make and create their own video projects or stop animation projects. Uh, I emphasize, we emphasize um, the kids make some stop animation, but then also allow them to do some um, live action um, stuff as well. But um, I have a stop animation for you guys this week. It is called Movie Night. And this is from the brain of a 28-year-old uh, man-child, me. Hey, oh, hey, uh, Charles. You left your Chuck, uh, what's up, man? How's it going, buddy? You should really keep your doors closed. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. Guess you just beat me to the door. So what brings you by here today? I'm just trying to check up on you. Just making sure you're, you know, keeping your nose clean. This is a rough neighborhood. You should be careful. <laughs> what are you, my mom? You know what? I'm just going to sit back and watch some TV. Really? Is that all you're doing right now? Oh, jeez. You're boring. Easiest way to clean your nose. Whatever, you punk. <laughs> I'll see you later. Later, Chuck. What now? Yar, shivin' me timbers. What is going on in here? What are you doing here? I don't need you here. Is that any way to treat your best friend? <laughs> we used to run this town. Let me just stop you right there. I don't think so. Man, I'm not just some kind of mark you can just push around. <laughs> you know what? You're worse than a mark. You're a traitor. <sighs> Just breathe. Just breathe. <laughs> You're trash. I'm here to teach you a lesson, punk. I think I've learned enough. Now it's time for me to teach you. Wait, what? No, I Why I oughta? What do you think you're doing? This is stupid. I'm done taking it easy on you. About time. Where was this when you were a pirate? I guess my heart just wasn't in it then. Yeah, sneak attack! I can't believe you. We were brothers. I'm gonna take care of you once and for all. What? No! Man just tries to hang out and watch a movie and then some uh, undercover pirate person just comes by and just attacks him. Anyways, um, if you haven't seen the rest of my uh, ongoing series, there's a theme going on there. So if you haven't watched them all, you're kind of like behind the loop. So uh, moving on, let's talk about some things that are happening in and around Missoula. These are Missoula events from MissoulaEvents.net. Let's kick off things with the final Dale. Final Dale? Yes, the final day of Book Madness, or should I say the final day of Book Madness at the Missoula Public Library. Tamar today marks the final day to vote for the Big Sky Branch's Book Madness Competition, a March Madness-style tournament of books where book characters face off in the year's categories like Dragons, Wizards, Aliens, and more. You can find out more um, information to vote by going to the Public Library, um, and they will send you a link. They also have a link on the Missoula Events page as well. Um, 
prizes include Carmack Cinema movies and a Barnes & Noble gift card. Because nothing says reading like Carmack Cinemas or AMC Theater. That's kind of what they changed the name to. But more on that, <laughs> never. Um, National Bookmobile Day is at the um, Missoula Public Library. So if you're not into the whole uh, book madness thing, uh, they have, as part of National Library Week, come celebrate National Bookmobile Day in Missoula Public Library. Wheels Web on Wheels bus. The web the bus will make a special stop at 220 North Higgins Avenue in front of in front of Fact and Fiction. They have literary activities including a word scramble, a gift the book in the jar competition with prizes and more. You can call the bus at 531 8400 for more information and it's happening from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. So pretty much all day today. Check it out. It's going to be great. Uh, Blow Paint Monsters, Family's First Children's Museum um, from 11 to 11.30. So it's a small window. You, um, put a few dabs on a, of paint on a piece of paper, blow air in them and with a straw and, s and see what you get. Some of the people will see monsters, but others see all sorts of beautiful cre creations. Um, used outdoor gear sale. So University of Montana has their annual outdoor programs at the University uh, Center on Wednesday uh, or the UC Center for some folks. Um, it's starting today at 12 noon, and it goes until 5 p.m., so you guys are going to get it there as soon as possible. The event open for students as well as general public from 12 to 5 p.m. So come check out all kinds of gear, gear outdoor gear. Um, if you are looking to sell any items, be sure to stop between 7 and 11 a.m. this morning to drop off your items. Payout and unsold gear pickup will be between 6 and 7.30 p.m. The UM Outdoor Program collects 20% of selling price. So if you have any outdoor gear that you want to sell, now would be the time to go over there until 11 a.m. But if you're seeing this afternoon, you're too late, but you can still check it out until 5 p.m. today. Um, to go all check it out. Um, so uh, communications practice group, Janet Rankin um, Peace Center is doing a compassionate communication practice group. Um, it's pinned to all ages, uh, open to all ages, and no experience necessary. It's free. So it's, it's partially known as the uh, nonviolent communication, and this is happening from 12 to 1 p.m. So bring lunch, and it's facilitated by Patrick Marcellic. Um, um, tonight at 6 p.m., Currents Aquatic Center is doing American Red Cross lifeguard slash first aid CPR a a AED and for professional rescuer um, gain knowledge and skills that will which will enhance to save lives and great and get a great job course incorporate self-study through online training and lecture skill practice at the pool with experienced instructions candidates must be 15 years of age or on the final day of class so that idea is that you cannot be not 15 years old so you have to be 15 that's it just 15 uh, to find out more information, go to 721-7275, and I believe that's 721 Park. You can also go to MissoulaParks.org, and this is going to be at the Currents Aquatic Center, and you can I think it's never too late to sign up, but you have to be 15 years of age. Um, an evening with mushrooms. Um, hmm. Anyways, uh, Meadow Sweet Herbs is doing ever wonder about the nutritional value of mushrooms. As it turns out, this fabulous forgotten f um, food has um, um, a municipal... Uh, municipal Medicinal, medicinal uh, qualities than uh, just about anything that you can eat. Mushrooms have been used in folk medicine and traditional Chinese medicine for thousands of years, but they are also widely adopted f in modern Western medicine. Many of the world's leadership um, pharmaceuticals are derived from mushrooms. Come learn about these amazing mushrooms ha happening 6 p.m. at Metal Sweet Herbs. Um, film and poetry s um, with uh, Safe Alagi. Um, it's going to be at the Missoula Public Library. As part of the celebration of Nat National Poetry Month, the library hosts an, an event, Film and Poetry. Um, the poet and filmmaker from Baghdad, Iraq, who is now pursuing his master's in fine arts at the University of Montana. He is the author of poetry collection, Iraqi Headaches, and the creator of a short films that have been screened across the United States and Europe. And he used a combination of his short films and poems to illuminate how he uh, possessed his experience uh, through um, through art, there will be a Q&A session following his presentation in at 7 p.m. at the large meeting room at the Missoula Public Library. Um, here are some of your music events that are happening. We're kicking things off at 7 p.m. with um, Country Dance Lessons with Kathy Clark at the Sunrise Saloon. She does it every single week, Wednesday and Thursday night. Um, Jazz Night is going to be at the Top Hat Lounge at 7 p.m. Karaoke Contest is going to be at the Eagles Lodge. Um, Crap Test of Karaoke is going to be tonight at the Ballander. And Rocking Karaoke is going to be at the Sunrise Saloon. Just a, a bunch of karaoke. Oof. 
Sorry about that. Just a bunch of karaoke things happening tonight. And um, I have an art clip for you guys. It is a c the continuation of art clips that I've been showing. It, it, I believe it's the uh, Ryan um, Federson um, re Resistance. And it's going to be at the Missoula Art Museum all the way until April 22nd. So you have the towards the end of, I believe it's next week before uh, you guys get a, uh, before this goes away forever. So if you haven't gotten around to going to the Mizzou Art Museum, now is the time. It's free. You go to the museum anytime. Just go walk in there and be like, cool, nice. Check it out. Here's a, th this is just a representation of it. You cannot get the experience by watching this video, but I suggest you go. I'll have um, your Thursday events right after this. Hey guys, welcome back. Now it's time for your Thursday events. Kicking off your Thursday, you have uh, uh, Pelez uh, Voss Global, a professional skill building. It's at the new Missoula College, and I um, this is I think the Missoula College has kind of opened up and they're doing classes. But this is the uh, really kind of like the first thing, just kind of like launch the Missoula College, um, kind of like open to the public and kind of like f uh, figure out. Wh these are a bunch of workshops that are happening all day to develop awareness. Um, when common culture frameworks do not exist, promote clear lines of communication and better relationships. Um, you can work with other cultures by looking at them objectively. Remove barriers, allowing for better professional relationships. Uh, develop a sense of mutual understanding between people. Overcome culturally challenged situations. This is a potentially new global market, and partnerships are pounding on Missoula's business doors. Are you prepared for, to explore the possibilities? So this is something to do. Intercultural differences can be to do hamper communication and often neg um, negatively impact interpersonal and professional relationships in business interactions. This occurs daily when um, people with different cultural backgrounds expect uh, are expected to perform as if everyone is the same so just check that out that's happening pretty much today um, we can I mean that's happening pretty much tomorrow um, you guys can register as soon as possible and registration is 8 a.m. to noon um, Thursday um, the check-in start at 8 7 30 a.m. the third floor of the uh, new Missoula College building room 340 it's 45 dollars per person and this is a kind of like a expansive entrepreneurship um, one of the great things about Missoula is it's very international it's a really good idea just to kind of get international ties so um, for more information to register contact Deborah gas at dgas at mt.gov or at 406-542-5751. Again, that is 542-5751. You can go to the Missou Missoula College website. I believe it's just as simple as Googling Missoula College, and you can find out more information about this event that's coming up as well. Uh, you got printmaking galore at the Zootown Arts Community Center. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm actually literally spraying the whole time. <laughs> Zootown Arts Community Center is doing a printmaking galore, and this is um, happening tomorrow from 2.15 to 5:30 p.m. and it's um, 
$95 and $85 for members of Zach. This unit is a challenge to explore the wonderful world of printmaking, learn how to screen relief and monoprint using a variety of colors and surfaces. John uh, Raffido, a business startup challenge at the University of Montana is starting at 4.30 p.m. Um, today, uh, tomorrow, sorry, I keep on thinking of today, but at the UM School of Business Administration with the uh, Back Blackstone launch pa uh, pad, invite you to the John uh, Rafado, a business startup challenge live pitch event on Thursday. You are welcome to attend the 28th annual uh, business startup challenge reception with the complimentary food and no host bar at 4.30 p.m. followed by live pitches at 5.30 p.m. All the University Center Theater at the University of Missoula campus. Business startup challenge is Montana's premier opportunity for students attending any college or university across Montana to present ex exciting new business social entrepreneur ventures ideas for adjudication. So this is a great thing. It's $10. Uh, it's free for you, University of Montana students with valid Grizz card. Um, and it, you'll be checked at the door. So you can check that out. It's happening at the uh, University of Montana UM School of Business Administration with the Backstone Launchpad. And I believe that's in the University Center second floor. I'm not entirely sure. You might have to look that up. Um, but you can look that up at MissoulaEvents.net. And speaking of MissoulaEvents.net, uh, here are some of the uh, nightly events that are happening tomorrow night. Um, John Floridus is going to be playing at the Imagination Brewing Company at 6 p.m. More country dance lesson with Kathy Clark is happening at Sunrise Saloon. Jazz is happening at the Plonk. They have Jazz Night on Wednesday nights at Top Hat, but Thursday nights, it's all at the Plonk. Um, Josh Farmer Band is going to be at the Sunrise Saloon. Love Josh Farmer Band. And uh, I've never, know, never known him to play country. He's always kind of been a jam band, so that'll be an uh, interesting um, world because I've never really seen him play at the Sunrise Saloon, so that'll be interesting. Um, open Mic is going to be at the Broadway. Um, Rock and Karaoke is going to be at the Dark Horse. Um, Honey, Honeycomb featuring Lecture is going to be DJ music at Monk's. And um, two more things. The workers is going to be at the Top Hat Lounge. Rooster Sauce is going to be at uh, VFW tomorrow night uh, at 10 p.m. So you guys can check all this out by go going to MissoulaEvents.net. It's a wonderful web page, and you can find out everything that's happening in and around Missoula. But I kind of highlighted the things about what's happening in Missoula because it seems like most of the people who post things are all about that yoga. So um, you can check that out and more and maybe kind of wade through some of the yoga things as well, unless you're into yoga. Then you have your options. Um, to find out more information about me, you can go on to wakeupmissoula.wixsite.com slash wakeupmissoula for all your um, Wake Up Missoula needs, videos, past interviews, and more. But also you can go to mcat.org to win this bike. We have a, a bike raffle that will be raffling off on May 5th for our party that's happening at the Downtown Nats Collective. We'll have VR set up there, but also we'll be working with uh, the Free Cycles on April 22nd on Earth Day to celebrate uh, Earth Day with the Missoula Urban Demonstration Project. And that's gonna be happening pretty much from 2 p.m. to like 7 p.m. MCAT will be there. We're doing some VR stuff as there as well as well. So VR is a uh, virtual reality. So you guys know I'm blah, blah, blah. Um, so you can find out more information about that by um, just kind of um, calling MCAT, um, but also our orientation is tonight on M at MCAT at 5.30 p.m. So if you're interested in being a part of MCAT orientation, 5.30 p.m., 500 North Higgins. But also you can call us ahead of time for more information, 542-6228, um, otherwise known as 542-MCAT. You can also email us, MCAT at MCAT.org, if you're too scared to actually call us. <laughs> But thank you guys for joining us. If you want to be a part of MCAT, once again, just come on down. Um, it, it's a really cool place where people just kind of hang out and talk about making movies. If you want to be a part of it or if you want to make your own movie, we have plenty of people here that are willing to help you. So thank you for joining me and for Wake Up Missoula. I'm Scott Ramp, and have a good rest of your Wednesday, and I'll see you Friday. Mm -hmm.